Hey everybody, welcome to Glazer's Geyser Garage. On this week's episode, we are going to do some fiberglass repair. Now this is my first time to do fiberglass repair, but I've watched some videos from Midyear Mitch, watched a couple other videos from Dynamic Corvette. So I think I got this handled. I got my fiberglass resin with wax, got my hardener, got my acetone, chemical to clean things up, but I think I got this. So let's see how I do. Thanks for joining. I just want to let everybody know what I'm using. I'm using the Bondo brand fiberglass resin with the hardener. Picked this up at O'Reilly's Auto Parts. I'm just using any old Rust-Oleum light colored paint to give it some color. Just using typical mixing, paint mixing. I like these small ones because I usually do something in smaller quantities. I did read that you can clean up things with acetone and that's true. I cleaned this cup up. I also cleaned the brush up just wanting to see if it would uh, be useful afterwards. Although I picked this box of brushes up at Harbor Freight for $12.95, 36 brushes for $12.95. So if I do have to throw them away, it's not a big deal. So anyway, just want to let you know, of course, I would, the rubber gloves, that's Harbor Freight too. But anyway, yeah. Tell you the fiberglass, the prep work is more work than actually doing the fiberglass. So you just have to use the foil tape and use any kind of form or mold or whatever you want to call it and then uh, go from there. So yeah, everything went good. Actually a little less, uh, I should say, it was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Let's just put it that way. I'm actually uh, grinding all the old bonding adhesive off. I'm doing it outside, there's a little breeze, using my vacuum. Yeah, I had these uh, media blasted. Now I'm just cleaning the bonding, the dried bonding stuff up. So yeah, it's coming out pretty good. I got a little repair to do. I've got a repair to do on this one right here. Looking forward to doing my first fiberglass repair, but these rockers are in actually pretty good shape. So let's keep working. yesterday we have a pretty big pretty good sized patch to make here but I'm gonna attempt to make a I don't know a mold I guess to go over this and kind of get the same contour that's in this with this register here so wish me luck See there, I bent the register in there, or whatever you want to call that, and that should match what's on this unit right here. If you look at right here, there's a little register. I'm making this mold for this section right here. So, yep. Okay, I have my mold made. I'll show you how it fits up in there. One hand. Got the register in there just like it's supposed to be. I'll cover this with foil tape. I got this all grinded so then I can start fiberglass. Okay, I poured uh, two ounces of resin in 
and that means 20 drops of the hardener or the resin hardener. So, two, three, four. I didn't think you guys wanted to hear me count the 20. I can't count the 20. I took my shoes off before I started this, so that's how I know I can count the 20. <laughs> Just mix it with the brush, changes a little bit of color once you get it all mixed up. I put some beige paint in here to give it a little bit of color. It's what I learned online, it makes it match the existing fiberglass a little better. Kind of gets a milky beige color. Mix it up real good. See there, it's a milky beige color. Hope you can see that. So we'll get that mixed up good. I just got one more spot on the floorboard to patch in. Let me get my protective gloves on, which I didn't have before, so I had to get my hands all clean. Yeah, so let's go do this spot. Okay, here's the finished product. No, well, not finished because it's not cured yet. You see my little indent worked well. Reinforced this corner. So my mold worked very nicely. Did a little patch on this one up here. I forgot to do one here, but I'll catch it the next time I'm working on these. This has needs some work right here too. Okay, I mixed up a little bit more of the fiberglass resin. I built this up a little bit. It was a little low in the corner. I also patched uh, a little bit more right here. There was a hole, patched that right here. And then down here, there was a crack. It wasn't too bad. I just laid a thin coat of fiberglass on there and then I'll clean all that up. And then in here, there was a crack here. Uh, I, would, I laid in the uh, Fiberglass resin with several uh, layers of fiberglass to make it nice and strong. Also redid the uh, the well there or where the gas uh, pedal goes. That's always cracked right there in the seam. A couple nice layers of fiberglass there, so that should be fine. You can see the spot right there. What that was was they had the exhaust going down there and it burnt that fiberglass right there. So I cleaned all the burnt fiberglass off Clean, put some foil tape behind it. I'll fill that in and I'll dress it up from the underside later. Yeah, let's get going on this. Sorry guys, I forgot to turn the camera on, but as you can see there, I got that one all patched in. All I did was do a couple layers of fiberglass and then just tap all the air out by poking it with the end of the brush, basically, I'll show you. So just, once you get it on, you just put it on, you just tap this like this, make sure all your mat itself is soaked and turns out great as you can see i got a small hole there i'm going to show you how to patch that in Here's a little review of the repairs I made. There was a small crack and hole there. I had to make a mold and patch about a three inch by three inch hole here. I had to repair some cracking down through there right on that edge where you see that red line. That's kind of my reminder that needs repaired. If you come over here on the floor, right behind the driver's seat, there was a crack. Must have been pretty heavy uh, impact in this corner because that was the same corner that the rocker was damaged. So repaired that, come around here. This is typical damage right by the gas pedal mounting right there in that crease. Uh, we put several layers there, fixed a small hole up there. 
to come over to the passenger side. As I mentioned earlier in a video, an exhaust pipe had laid against there and burnt the fiberglass, so I cleaned it all out and then patched that. So everything went relatively well. I'm pretty pleased. This thing's going to be going to the Media Blast shop here pretty quick to get the paint removed off of what's left, which is just the top, the split windows, and the deck part. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You can see here, I got my repairs painted here with the uh, proper paint. But, yeah, getting excited here. I'm going to start putting this thing back together. Okay, well, I got the fiberglass repair finished. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for joining. We really appreciate you guys watching. Remember, like, subscribe, and share the video. It really helps us out. We're up over 400 subscribers. I know uh, to, compared to other guys, like Midyear Mitch, who's got over 10,000. It's not a lot, but we haven't even been at this a year. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Share this with your friends, especially your Corvette guys, and maybe... I can help you learn something, or maybe you can teach me something. Please comment. Comment down there. But remember, like, subscribe, and share. We're going to appreciate it, guys.